this is me feeling overwhelmed. And who can blame me? There is such an influx of new technology. I'm constantly being told that if I don't follow this or don't follow that, then my career is over. So I sat down for four weeks and I read everything I could find about new technology, how it might impact my career. I went on to wild goose chases in the search of the latest app that can help me. And what I found is that I don't have to be overwhelmed. Because if I follow four trends, then I can future-proof my career and you can too. Oh, and by the way, I also found one thing that ties them all together. And surprisingly, that one thing that hasn't changed in the last hundred or even a thousand years. It's no surprise that we have to start talking about AI and automation. Is it here to steal your job? Not really. AI is a tool, just like me asking ChatGPT, what's the best title for this video? And then dismissing every single one. But imagine this. Imagine you're sitting down and writing a very important email to a client. And what typically happens is I draft the email, put everything down, and then I read it again and I think, I can do better. I delete paragraphs and I add things and I think about it and then I put it away and go into the kitchen, make myself a cup of coffee and when I come back I've got a few more ideas and I do a few more changes and over the next 20 or 30 minutes I go like, this is it, now I can hit send. Now compare that to today. I still draft my email to a very important client. And instead of then sitting down and thinking, what can I do better? I take the whole thing and just dump it into ChatGPT and ask for two or three options that may make it feel a little bit more friendly or more professional or whatever I need at that moment. And no, I very rarely take anything out of ChatGPT at face value, but there are always some parts in it where I'm thinking, that's a good idea, amigo. Your gifts to be done. I take all these things, put them together, and I end up with an email that is a lot better than my first draft, and we hit send. So if you want to future-proof your career, you have to pay attention to some of the AI tools because they will make you more efficient. And that's always been the case for those who are excelling fastest in their careers. It's usually not the ones who are most intelligent or have the best ideas, but it's the ones who found a tool that made them more productive and AI is just one of those. And so we just bought ourselves another 15 or 20 minutes where we can write another email or have that cup of coffee. Talking about a cup of coffee, have you noticed that this is something that's slowly disappearing? No, no, not the drinking coffee, but you know where people come together in the kitchen area of your corporate office and bounce back and forth new ideas. Yeah, the coffee talk. And it's slowly disappearing because it disappeared through the pandemic and with the rise of remote work. But it also is a good reason why we have to pay attention to the second trend, which is the rise of the one person enterprise. And before you tune out of this section of the video, this isn't only for entrepreneurs and people who run their own business. The one person enterprise is very much alive in the corporate setting as well. We know for a long time that it's impossible to know everything. We have to specialize. And then usually there was somebody, a manager or a leader who brought all these ideas together and they were generalists. But with flatter and flatter hierarchies in corporations, that is disappearing as well. And the level of specialization is rising. What that means for us is that we no longer just have to pay attention to the very specific skills that we have. We also have to pay attention to who we want to provide these skills to and in what way, how we do it. Maybe you are a social media marketer, you're good at your job. But are you providing it for everybody? Which means that probably you are reaching nobody. And if you are providing social media marketing services, maybe you want to specialize on coaches or nonprofit organizations. And even if you figure that out, you still need to decide what exactly makes you unique. Is it the professional approach? Is it the creative approach? You have to decide. And the same applies in a corporate setting. It's no longer enough to apply for a job and say, hey, here are my skills, because your employer wants to know how do you differentiate yourself against all the others who have similar skills, who also want this job. So what makes you unique? And future-proofing your career, future-proofing my career means I have to sit down 
And I have to pay a lot more attention, not only to what skills I have, but who is my client base? Who am I talking to? And also, in what way would I like to do my work? Have you already figured out what is the one thing that ties them all together? We'll get there shortly, but before, you might come under the impression that with AI and the rise of the one-person enterprise, life and work becomes a little bit lonely. And that's actually not true, because the third trend that we have to pay attention to are communities. And they come to us in two different ways. Number one, we have to find a community where we can bounce back and forth ideas of our own, where it's about our specialization, it's about the way we do work. And we have to find a community because likelihood is because of that specialization, we can't find it in our own company or in our employer's company. So that's the one thing. The second thing is that communities don't stop there. They also apply to the other side, the other side being where our clients are. Clients today, they don't want to be sold to. What they want to do is they want to feel part of a community where they learn something together or they buy a product together where they are part of the process. The best way to progress your career, the best way to future-proof your career is to insert yourself as a moderator. Admittedly, this part is still very much in its infancy. And the reason is that we don't yet have a very robust technological framework to support it. Let me explain. Yes, we have technology, we have the whole internet, but the concept is usually that it delivers a lot of information from one organization or one person to many others. And when you think about communities, the one thing that you really want is shared ownership. And the one technology that supports that is blockchain technology. Now, I'm no expert in cryptocurrencies, but I am quite knowledgeable about blockchain technology because you can build a whole corporation, you can build a whole community on blockchain that gives you shared ownership rather than just shared information. And if you can do that, you can use that technology to support those communities that we just talked about. And once more, this is something that will future-proof your career. Now, have you figured out the one thing that brings all of these things together? It's asking the right questions. Because if I'm unable to ask the right questions to ChatGPT, it's a pretty useless tool for me. If I'm specialized in my work, but can't ask the right questions to get to the next level of development, it's a pretty useless endeavor. And if I can't ask the right questions in my community of work or community of clients, I edge on the border of irrelevance. So there you have it. The key is to career survival in 2024. Embrace AI, specialize like a pro, join communities and keep an eye on blockchain. And of course, keep asking those right questions because your future self your future self is subscribed to this channel and we'll thank you for it. See you next time.